Okay, so I'm going to show how to disassemble and replace the hard drive on an HP Pavilion model 15-CC183CL. Uh, product ID is 2SS17UA, pound ABA. Okay, so first thing, um, this one is a little bit difficult to disassemble. Um, but uh, first, there are going to be these four rubber pieces that you want to remove. Um, usually what I use is a small pry tool like this, and you just get in the edge and then pry it up and then lift it out. Um, once you do that, each one of these has uh, some Phillips uh, screws underneath. So there's two in these corners, and then there's one in each of these corners, and then you got some screws here and two screws in the front here. So the screw here um, is holding the CD drive in place. So once you remove that screw, you can actually just pull that out. After that, what you wanna do is you need a tool like this. So I'll start from like the front or the edges, whichever place you can get. I found that this, the front here where it opens is the easiest. So what you do is you get your tool in the layers um, you'll need a very thin pry tool and the clips are pretty tough to get but once you get it in there just pry it up uh, and this will pop and then once you get that just run the tool along the outer edge and pry it up wherever it's stuck um, once you get there the sides are going to be pretty tough but try and pry it up and then get to the edge and then do the same thing just pry along all the edges um, and then go all the way around I snapped it back in place, so I'm going to have to do that. So pretty much just keep going all the way around. Slide the tool around. And then get to the edges. Once you get around there, you can start pulling on it. And then while you're pulling on it, you can get the tool underneath in between. So actually here it snapped, it got snapped back in place. So basically you just slide the tool in and then do that. Um, this side will be stuck with the CD slot so once you get all the edges and everywhere disconnected except for this what you can do is lift it and then kind of wiggle it like this and that will release it from there so that's how you get the cover off it's gonna be kind of a pain so just know it's gonna take some force it doesn't come out easily um, and then after that you can see um, there's the wireless card here the keyboard connector, connector for the hard drive, um, the optical drive connector is uh, permanently attached to the motherboard, then you got the fan connector, the processor that's permanently stuck there, they soldered it in place, and then you got the two RAM slots, um, the LCD connector, one of the speaker cables or connectors, and then you got all the ports here, looks like you can't replace any of those. And then there's a slot here for an M.2 SSD and the battery. So to replace the hard drive, oh, there's also this connector here that connects this. So actually this is in the keyboard connector, it looks like. This is actually for this. It's for that extra USB port and the SD card. Um, if it's not, then that goes through somewhere else. But this is the mouse connector. Um, I guess we'll see when I lift the hard drive. So to remove the hard drive connector, what you do is there's this little black tab here. You want to just get under the front of it and lift it up like that. And then you can wiggle this out. Just wiggle it a little bit and then it'll come out just like that. Um, this one's held in place with this rubber um, hard drive caddy. So the back ends are actually held in place underneath this the solid plastic part so what you want to do <clears throat> is you have to raise up part of it Let's see where you can grab it they actually don't have a little pull tab which normally they would so what you got to do is there's the little piece that's holding it down here <clears throat> that holds it in place you can actually grab in there and kind of try and lift it up from there. Let's see if I can do that with, it's hard to do with one hand. Um, if you can't do it with that, you might want to use a flathead screwdriver or the pry tool. 
and you can get it underneath the rubber piece and just lift it up like that. There you go. Once you do that, you can actually lift the hard drive up and then wiggle it out. So these pieces will need to be transferred to the new hard drive. So you just grab this piece, make sure to keep them in order in case they're shaped differently, which they are because the ends here will go underneath. So make sure to keep those in the same spot. And then with this adapter, um, just wiggle from side to side. Make sure to be careful with this cable because it's fragile. So pretty much you just grab one corner like this and then pull it and then do the other corner and pull that and then you can remove this. Then just add, attach this back to the new drive, the SSD or replacement hard drive and then put these pieces back on on the new drive and just put it back the same way you took it out. This cable will just go back in there and then the latch will just go back down on top of it. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you wanted to upgrade to an SSD and the old drive is working okay, you can actually clone the drive first. Uh, depending what method you use, there's several different ways. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, feel free to um, just post a comment and then I'll let you know depending on what your situation is. All right, thanks. Bye.